morning treasurers this is your host Parthisha co-founder of Night Fintech and you are listening to Night Snippets here is all what you need to know before going into trade for 6th April 2021 in the international market US 10 year is at 173 and 30 year closed at 236 on Monday FOMC minute meeting minutes are due Wednesday afternoon which will give a clue on the economy progress last week non farm payrolls were much higher than the street's expectation in the crude oil market crude is trading at 62.87 dollars per barrel short term range seems to be 63 to 66 dollars per barrel saudi arabia has hiked its crude oil prices for asian buyers by 0.4 dollars per barrel the news is unlikely to be welcome by the two biggest buyers of saudi crude china and india especially by india which has been vocal in its opposition to opec price raising efforts the government has asked refiners to review their contracts with saudi arabia and other middle eastern producers and use their collective bargaining power to get better terms china in the meantime is gobbling up cheap iranian oil despite us sanctions and may not need to continue buying at the rates it did last year when crude was dirt cheap wherever it came from smart and bold chinese buyers in the currency market dollar index or dxy is at 92.67 the hope for dxy reaching 9425 has diminished completely for now after it dropped from 9350 levels dxy's today's range seems to be 9228 to 9293 key levels to watch 9245 and 9343 on a weekly basis usd cny or chinese yuan is at 656 USD INR with a high of 7345 closed at 7330 on Monday. USD INR range is 7325 to 7355. The direction for rupee can be towards 7310 as well depending on the market opening. In the domestic market, government bond prices ended sharply higher yesterday because of expectations that the reserve bank of india would extend monetary accommodation after the resurgence of coronavirus cases in india with maharashtra the most affected state imposing stringent restrictions to contain its spread 515 2025 five, closed at 557 versus 570 the previous trading day 585 2030 closed at 612 versus 617 the previous trading day yesterday foreign banks sold gsex worth 1526 crore public sector banks sold 1343 crore whereas mutual fund houses bought rupees 1901 crore purely deploying new fresh capital at the start of the year the covid-19 resurgence in india is at, at its peak and mutual fund houses are of the opinion that the expected liquidity normalization would take longer than previously anticipated also as this is an april start new fund flows are coming which they are deploying in shorter end of the curve hence they are buying heavily i repeat mutual fund houses are buying not because they want to but because they have to new fresh year fund inflows are getting deployed better not to get carried away considering this as a market strength but rather look for an opportunity to exit the 7th april mpc meeting can also push rbi to retrade the supportive stance more strongly and give some more support to the current strength 611x as a good resistance beyond which 608 is also possible if rbi is more dovish the new five year will be auctioned this week on 9th of april hence all 515 2025 positions need to be rolled over to the new benchmark next month after at least 3 4 auctions are over That's it for today. You were listening to Night Snippets with Pathesh Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech. See you tomorrow with a new episode of Night Snippets.